grease gun used on this episode of TAC TV is actually the M3, not the M3A1, which came later. The main difference, the fact that the M3 is cocked by a lever on the side where the M3A1, you reach through the ejection port and cock it with your finger. Weighs approximately eight pounds with an eight inch barrel. Cyclic rate of fire is around 450 rounds per minute. It fires only from the open bolt and fully automatic. You can very easily get off singles or doubles because of the slow cyclic rate of fire. 30 round box magazine and the gun overall is kind of the American Sten per se, stamp sheet metal, cost approximately $20 to make in 1943. Very rugged, reliable design. It was used well into the 1980s by the United States Army. Overall, an excellent submachine gun that served us well. Ken, grease gun. Okay, another 10 meter full magazine dump, 20 rounds. Uh, I think we're going to see cycling rate wise a little bit easier to control. Yeah, I think so. Let's see what happens. All right. All right, ready? And up. Let's Check take it look. out. Yeah. Okay, much better. A little bit of walk to left. But uh, overall, overall we're going to say, we, if you compare that to the Thompson, it's yeah, much definitely. better. Yeah, once it's settled in, you could pepper it. Obviously, 10 yards, as you and I both know, for an extended burst is a bit long. You get farther than that, you're going to really suffer. But yeah, 10 to 12, and then, and then beyond that, it falls apart. I mean, overall, you just have too low, but look at that. Yeah, if you can pretty well cover most of them with your hands for a 20-round burst, that's pretty good. Out of curiosity, I wonder how the new kid on the block's gonna do. Oh, we'll see. The high cyclic rate of fire, dude, it's gonna be real interesting. The most significant submachine gun development in 45 ACP in the United States since World War II is the Chris Vector. It weighs approximately five and a half pounds. It's a mixture of polymer, aircraft grade aluminum, and steel. Has a five and a half inch barrel that's threaded to accept sound suppressors. It's capable of semi-automatic two-shot burst and fully automatic at a cyclic rate of fire of 1,100 rounds per minute. Fires from a closed bolt and is a delayed blowback operation that uses the vector system technology, which happens to be patented. It also has a Picatinny rail on top, hard points to mount Picatinny rails for like white lights and lasers per se, and a side folding buttstock. It uses a Glock 21 magazine, either the standard 13 round mag or an extended 30 round magazine is available. In my opinion, in semi-automatic as an SBR, it'd have a lot of merit as a home defense weapon. All right, Ken, the Chris Vector's up next, but remind me, isn't there another little sub gun post-World War II that we need to talk about for yeah, a brief Yeah, if you're talking about 45 submachine guns, caliber submachine guns, we've got to remember in the late 60s and the 70s, the MAC-10, the Ingram MAC-10, was had its little, shall we say, blip of, of popularity. 15 minutes of fame. Uh, the old joke used to be if you were in a fight in a phone booth, that might be a good gun to have. <laughs> in reality, it didn't have a lot of application and quite honestly disappeared from the scene pretty quick. Cool. Well, let's, this is the latest. Let's yeah. see what it does. Yep. Let's try it. 20 round magazine dump, right target. Let's give yeah. it a try. Ready? Yep. And up. Whoa. Whoa. The MG42 in your hands. <laughs> let's go look. <laughs> Thank God that camera survived. Well, wow. And a lot of that was when you really pushed into it. Yeah, I the, had to dip this it was down. your last rounds. Well, I mean, 40, it's a fairly light gun, as you know. You know, 45 ACP at 1,200 rounds a minute or thereabouts, dude, that's no joke. There's you got to get on it. There's some momentum to deal with. Now, good news is they're all on the target. Yeah, I mean, they're on the target. We're, these two aren't exactly they're our favorites, but we'll take them. Yeah. So you kind of look at the gun and say, is it usable? Yes. On full auto, yeah, where you're I don't know that a lot that of bullets, be, you're right. the beauty is it does have a two-round two burst mode. Absolutely. I mean, that's the great thing about it. Semi, two-shot burst, and full auto. And obviously, semi and your two-shot bursts are going to be where this pays off. Yeah, I can't imagine why it would ever be on the third no, full auto position. position. You know what it really boils down to is 10 yards is kind of the limit to do this. And also, clearly, no surprise, the grease gun is the king of this. You know, Larry, I've got a couple other drills I want to run, and let's see how it, it fares in that. And my call is it'll probably do pretty well. Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Let's Absolutely. See. Let's give it a try. 